this world has been destroyed before, this world has reached a very high level of uh, scientific success, no? but then because they know too much, but their spiritual side don't develop, so they make war with other planets. Other planets make war with this, and so many things have been destroyed. We used to be more civilized. We're getting back now, now we're getting back. But then if we don't balance our knowledge with wisdom, and uh, uh, we don't balance the, uh, the material gain with the spiritual um, success, then we will destroy not only our planet, other planets as well. Many planets have been destroyed because of this. Uh, too much uh, intellectual knowledge, but no spiritual wisdom. And then uh, just at war with each other. Now, 21st century of this planet, 21st century, that's what we say only since the time of Jesus, but this planet exists long time already and still making war. Can you imagine? Like barbarians. And we call ourselves human. And they're killing the other human without any remorse, you know? And we call that civilization. At this time, still killing each other like like in a jungle or caveman time, you know, we call those people cavemen, or, you know, whatever, I was like backward or primitive, but at least they don't kill each other on this scale. Eh? So civilization uh, materially doesn't offer us any comfort or any peace, just spiritual attainment. You can see that for yourself, right? Yeah, okay. So now I, I tell the same thing anyway. If anything more interesting, I will tell you later. But it's not much. Not, not much in this world that I can tell you. Except you go high. Very exciting. <laughs> That's why it's very difficult for me. Apart from going to see you and offer you service, it's very difficult for me to leave the cave. You know, I didn't want to. I feel uncomfortable where you sit, you go somewhere else, okay? And protect yourself because otherwise you can sit, no? I don't want you to get sick here. That's why I keep you on here. Save you walking all the way to the tent, you know, and come back every time. And just because I'm here and a short, a small group of people, I manage myself. Normally other people manage, you know, like this residents or wherever because too many people. But like this is easier for me to manage so I can tell them what to do, where to sit. And so we just concentrate here. Eh? Or in the trailer where it's all warm all the time and dry so you don't have to go to the tent. But un unless we have more people coming and we don't have enough place here, then some people just have to go there. No? Otherwise we just sit here, eat here, meditate here, sleep here, it's fine. Is anybody against that? <laughs> it's good, eh? Yes. Or in the trailer, you know? And we, I bought oh, three, four trailer, you know? So you can also meditate in there. The newcomer or the people who work and don't happen to come here on time and just sit on a one trailer, also fine, we have enough room. So you don't always have to don all kinds of stuff and go to the tent and come back in the cold again, you know? So this is convenient, eh? Only when it's small group, it's easy. A big group, is, it's not possible. I got sick also. When people are sick everywhere, I got some. <laughs> but I cannot take everything, you know, because it's such a mass cleaning. Okay, anybody else? Yeah. I have often liked the idea that I don't really know what I should do. So, um, and then I, for example, think I can just go because I finished. You can what? I finished my study, so I for I feel like I can do anything I want to do. Sure, why not? But then I don't know when I'm when I am sincere in like how to choose. So sometimes I also think I just wait and see whatever comes on my path. But then I think maybe that's too passive a way of of doing it. What did you study? Well, I studied international politics. You want to be a president? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> what do you want to do? Don't just sit and wait, but what do you want normally? What would you like to do after study? After study, the student feel oh, very free, you know? And sometimes go over broad, happy, and all the time. But you're good, you come, and that's fine already. But now you know what you want? Well, I would like to know what, why I am 
here in this planet and what I should do. Oh, I would oh. like to know also. Why is she here? Why is she here on the planet? Anybody know? <laughs> so, is that what you want to know? Well, I, sometimes because I think then I, if I help people, but then I also think, am I really helping them or am I just thinking that I'm helping them? <laughs> oh dear God. <laughs> Oh, it's so complicated. Just do whatever you feel like. If somebody needs your help, then you help. Why do you think so much? I wonder myself why I think so much. I don't know. It's just something that I think. <laughs> That's it? So you stand, spend all your day thinking and not doing anything? <laughs> Well, I I do sort of what comes on my path, but I don't I don't, know, I don't really have the feeling that I'm doing what I'm. Yeah. So, what would you like to do in your heart? Tell me. Really, in your heart, not just to everybody to listen. Oh, that's a good idea. No, no. What you want to do? Really. Tell me. You don't know, or you do know. I don't know. I don't think I know. I don't know. So why you study politics? It just happened to be on your path, right? <laughs> you like to be in any political party? Join them? Do something for the country? Well, I did wonder why there were still so many problems in the world and I was wondering why they are still not solved. Well, I do believe that many people know how they could be solved, so that's sort of maybe... Mother, if you believe that, then you do it. You believe the political way can help you to, to, to help but the country, then you can do that. But I don't believe in that. So, so why, why did you study politics, no? Before, right? Now you, you don't believe anymore? Is that what you mean? So what would you think you would like to do now? So what are you doing now? Um, I'm sort of looking for a job. Uh -huh. Okay, what kind of job? <laughs> Any job? Well, I just I just um, went for one job, but I don't know if it's really something for me. But I don't I'll try it out and then tell me. <laughs> it's confusing, huh? The world, eh? Hey? Well, it's maybe also because it's like I don't know when I'm fooling myself or not. You what? When I'm fooling myself. Why? Just get a job, get money. What's the fooling about that? Huh? What kind of job is that? What is the question you want to ask me, really? Because you're making me go in a maze here. I don't know. Is you get a job and you want me to go for it? Or well, what is the real question? Or you tell me that as you ask me to choose a job for you? Then what is? Huh? It's your job, you have to do research on the market and you research in your heart to know what you want to do and then whether the market has that job. If not, then you take a second best, eh? take other job. And if you don't know what you want to do, then I also don't know how to help you, eh? Think about it, all right? Next question. After I came back from uh, Cambodia, um, I uh, got trapped again in the in the world, mm. and um, I began to meditate less. Mm -hmm. And um, it was like a time where I had to fulfill all the desires that were still bound yeah, yeah, to yeah. me, you yeah. know. And uh, but uh, it um, it made me go astray from the path. Mm -hmm. and the fact that I was going astray made mm -hmm. me feel so guilty because I knew that um, yes. I had lost something so precious, you know. And um, when I remember the time I spent with you in Shibu and in Cambodia, and it was the most happy time I had in my life because after that it was only suffering and frustration and. And it was so difficult, Master, to come back. Now I, I have you allowed me to come back to group meditation for a year, and everything changed again. Better now? Oh yeah, yeah. Good, then it's nice. Yeah, but so what's the now, there's nothing. 
in this world uh, that I really, apart from doing your work and, and, and being with my brothers and sisters. Yeah, really, I did, eh? Yeah, and um, I was uh, asking if it uh, would be possible to be uh, one of your residents again. And maybe later. Just enjoy your free time. <laughs> Enjoy, enjoy your coming back, enjoy the blessings, all right? Being a, pre a, res a resident is not as what you think. Uh, some residents stay, some come and go. The resident, if they're sincere, uh, they have a lot of blessings for me. But once I get out, they lost so much, they go like this. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It will be, you know, just uh, dedicate the rest of my life to spiritual to the spiritual, because outside it's so... <gasps> but that's not your destiny. Okay. Maybe later, huh? When you overcome the destiny, maybe we can do something, yeah? Okay? Right now, just enjoy. Enjoy the normal life. Without title, it's the best. Yes, love? You, but I appreciate it. Ah, you, you want to come back? It's good. Oh, yeah. Just yeah. keep that inspiration. I am not sure because I'm here. You feel strong and you feel confident again. Once I'm gone, many people want to be just a woman, eh? Just a mom. I explain to her more, so her heart feel more open. Otherwise, it would be resident, resident, Many people wanted to become resident every time on the retreat. Everybody wants to be on the spot. I mean, Master, I mean, there's nothing else I want to do, please. But I just turn my back, that's it. Everybody goes home. You know? the, the first minute, they pro oh, I stay here, cook for you, Master. I cook good, I do this. this. I said, okay, just stay for a while and then, a bit, uh, and then see what happens. I just turn my back, I have to go. That's it. I have to go home because I gotta do the job, you know. I gotta go home because my wife's calling, you know. I gotta go home because my husband, he, he needs me. <laughs> uh, my uh, girlfriend, I cannot break from her because she makes trouble for me here. Every excuses, go on, everybody just run out, just like that. And then I come back again, do retreat. Oh, Master, <laughs> you know, I'm ready all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's just a power, <laughs> just a power of renunciation that you got from me whenever you're near. So don't be cheated by that. And later feel sorry, yeah? Because resident is a different kind of life and it's a counter the, the currents of the social trend and it will be very difficult for you to keep. I would not like you to even suffer that. Why? Just stay outside the world, be with brother and sister, sister and go to work and enjoy, have a boyfriend, whatever. Enjoy whatever in this world for temporary and then when you go, you go. There's no need to even go to be a, pres a resident to, to, to progress, I'm telling you that. Sometimes it makes you suffer because you like it so much, the idea you like it. But it's, it's they're very difficult to keep, no? And many of you are not resident, but <coughs> some of you are fifth level, fourth level, and I'm very pleased. Yeah? We have no, no residents here, but we're okay, no? The brothers and sisters in Hungary, they run, you know. They do everything I say to them, and so even more precisely and more quickly and intelligently. I'm very pleased with them. I don't need residents around here. But what I mean is you don't have to be a resident in order to do my work or to, to serve other people. You just stay with where you are, help other people, and then that is resident. The resident is the one who works with me. I do not look down upon less because you're not resident. No, no. Yeah, the, the Hungarian people, they're not resident, but these days they work, oh man, they work day and night. And never they count on my order or never argue or nothing. Yes, Master, yes, understand. So quick, 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 do. Chat, 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 chat. Yeah, I like that. 